Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm, Hero Hoists, and Martin's Panel Masters. Want a no of a place to buy a classic or have one customised? Yep, finding a place like this now in Australia is becoming rare. Stick around and see more on this week's Classic Restos. Midlife Crisis Customs is located on the New England Highway in Rutherford, New South Wales. It's a classic and custom car dealership which stocks a large and extensive range of unique vehicles for sale and customization. These unique vehicles are predominantly pre-1980s from all corners of the globe. However, Midlife Crisis Customs deals in all makes and models which are performance based or are in the collectible car class. Been fortunate enough to be uh, a businessman for around about 15 years with a great bunch of people um, working for me in a totally different industry, not, not necessarily the car industry. One thing that's really spurred me is the, the love, of, uh, the passion I have for classic cars. Uh, muscle cars in particular are probably my favourite. However, um, I've come across a lot of people who, who have had the same sort of passion or similar passion. I'm a big believer here in the Hunter Valley, uh, Newcastle area, um, all the way up through even to the Tarry. Um, we are a big car culture here. Um, I had a, a vision of you know, creating a business that allows the cars to come back out of the sheds. Um, unfortunately, we don't see too much of the classics anymore. Um, I, I believe there's a big future in the classic car industry. Um, and so with that in mind, I um, decided to venture with this. I made a decision late last year, in late 2017, to, to um, put some investment into the classic car industry. Um, I love the automobile industry. I know where it's going. I, I understand that semi-autonomous vehicles are on their way, autonomous vehicles are on their way. Um, and so I really wanted to look at the automobile industry as a whole. Uh, and probably the best way for me to do that was to come in with a totally unique market, a totally niche market. In the other industries I've been involved in in my life, I've always looked for niche products. Um, I believe that although there are skinnier volumes and in, in these type of niche markets, I think there's, there's ways around there are people who like to be unique. Uh, and I think there's not much more um, that spells that than the people's car. I mean, uh, that somehow um, there's, a, there's a, some sort of bond between people's cars and, the, and their personality. Uh, and, I've, and although the car industry in particular, I think have done an excellent job with emissions and, and you know, life-saving devices and all these things, and, not, and I'm very much a fan of that. I've done an excellent job. We've had a big leap in the last, you know, probably 50 years. Um, however, I think that there's not too much collectible out there anymore. Um, some of the passion is gone. I think some of the designs have faded away. Um, it was really about charisma and about um, uh, something new and, and uh, to use the word sexy is probably not the right word, but there is that in the culture, in this classic car culture. And I'm a big believer also, and after speaking with a lot of people in this type of industry, they, there is a connection with a better time, and I'm a big believer in that, that, that uh, you can you know, throw you know, myself and my wife, we're only about 15 minutes from the vineyards here in the Hunter Valley, and there's not much better than, I have a 67 GTA Pontiac, I've had that for about six years, and there's not much better than be able to have my wife um, by my side and we, we drive away for the weekend. Uh, there's something really cool about pulling up in a, in a very cool car. Um, it turns heads um, and I don't know, it just tends to bring us back to a better time. Well, our services here at um, MC Customs, they vary. We have the cars that are out there on the, on the lot, which are there for sale, of course. We, so we are here trying to reunite uh, people with the car of their dreams. We do like parking dreams in driveways. Uh, however, um, we have also understand that there, there's a much greater need for the car support, the, the mechanisms that support the cars. So we've got a great workshop here with, uh, um, with great mechanics who consistently work on 
the original stuff, so they, they rebuild the original, uh, which a lot of people like, but also we've got key guys in there who, who like also the resto mod stuff, so we are, we're also a, a classic car company that also provides resto modifications. We, uh, we would like to welcome more and more people to our, our new facility here in Rutherford. It is in New South Wales, not far from Newcastle Airport. For those who are out of state, it is uh, about a 40 minute drive from Newcastle Airport, uh, right in the heart of the Hunter Valley. But with us, with our, with our company, we'd love to meet you. We'd love to connect you with your car. We do um, offer the cars that are here. We have about 80 in stock currently but we are consistently searching. We have scouts over in the United States every five weeks looking for vehicles. So if something's not here, it doesn't mean that we can't find that car for the particular person. Also, um, we are here to support the product. So um, anything your car needs, resto mods, whatever, we are, we are here for that. So we welcome you to the Hunter Valley. We welcome you to a great car culture club here in the Newcastle area. We have the Newcastle uh, V8 Supercars back in November. We're here to support that. So by all means, come and get something. My passion for cars began when Nana and Pop bought their new Toyota Crown. It was Nana's really. She loved that car. We went everywhere in it. My passion now is just the same, even though my cars are a little different. I've still got Nana's car, couldn't part with it. And I reckon if she was here today, she'd be insured with Shannon's too. Call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. How would you like to double your garage space and work on your cars easily? Well, bring in your own hero with a Lift King hoist. Easy to install models in one, two and four post styles. Check the very nifty Spider 2500 portable mini scissor lift. Hero hoists are either Oz certified or carry the Euro CE, your guarantee of quality construction and reliability. I regularly stand under my Lift King, so when you need a bit of a lift, why don't you go stand under yours? Martin's Panel Masters has three modern accident repair centres. They service Melbourne's inner, outer east and the fast growing south east corridor. Your vehicle will receive the best from state of the art repair equipment finished beautifully from computer based paint mixing systems, finished in Australian compliant spray booths. Martin's Panel Masters, located at Ferntree Gully and Berwick, also Box Hill Panels. Hare and Forbes Machinery House has been family owned and operated for over 85 years and it's easy to see why. Planning on welding? Look at these welding tables and clamps, air compressors and different air tools, sandblasting cabinets, through to spray guns. Everyone is welcome at Machinery House. There are competitive freight rates around Australia and you can buy online at machinerywhouse.com.au. So remember, Hare and Forbes has the range. Mick, one aspect that I like about Midlife Crisis Customs is to some it might be daunting to import a car. So if they don't want to go through that process, they can walk through that gate, pick a car here. If what they're looking for is not here, you can try and source it and you take on the worry of it. That's exactly right, Fletch. So our business prides itself on trying to bring in cars that people really want here. Also, we are here to marry the people with the correct car. So if you are right, it's a daunting, daunting thing to not just worry about the importation of a car, but also other things that go in the background. Mm. Asbestos has been a big one lately. Yes. Uh, you could appreciate that. Yes. Um, so our business is about connecting people with the cars. So if it's not here, we will find it for people. I'm very passionate about what you're doing, and more so now, especially in 2018, because this type of uh, an arrangement that you've got here with your cars and your workshop facility at the back is diminishing. It's, it's actually very, very rare now in this country. You go to the United States and guys like you are everywhere and that's beautiful. But here in this country for our market, uh, mate, you're, uh, you're certainly uh, you're setting a little bit of a, a different benchmark. I'm a risk taker, but I'm also someone who loves niche market. I'm a big believer that if there's a product out there that's a bit unique, um, that's what I tend to be in. I've been in business now for a long time uh, in different industries. If I wanted to hit the car industry, it was always going to be with a unique product, and that's why we are here. Yeah, that's awesome. When you get a sec 
get out to the Hunter Valley, check out this guy. He's uh, he's really put everything on the line here to, to help fellow enthusiasts. And as I said earlier, I really admire that. Mick, time to go check out some cars. What do you say? I'm in. Let's go. Oh, gee, Mick. What is there not to love about this? A 1962 F100. Yeah, it's this, the custom cab. Very rare here in Australia. Um, this is a patina model, so it's it's a, it's rough. It's designed that way, um, but it is a bit of a beast of a car. We really enjoy it. This reminds me of, of being in the United States. This is where you go into, into lots and you go into people's properties, and, and this is the sort of stuff uh, that you see. Uh, you don't see it every day here, especially in New South Wales, Australia. I love these trucks, and boy, I have haven't they come into their own? I believe there's a market for it. I think there's um, there's those who love the patina look. There's those who love just something that's that's old and and that sort of retro look. Uh, you can't beat a, 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 cab, a cab like this to do just that. So. They're so archaic in their own way. It's the type of truck where when you look at the body, you could just imagine it scuffed back, hit with a coat of clear and just get the mechanicals A1. Just leave the body as is. Oh, absolutely. I think that's what we're trying to do with this truck. Uh, otherwise, we would build it. Um, but I think some of these trucks are just left the way they should be. It's not just classic restos these days, it's classic preservations. Absolutely, yeah, classic preservations. Couldn't say that better myself, mate. Yeah. <laughs> a favourite to many, a 1957 Chev. What's the run down here, Mick? Oh, we've got a beautiful 57 Belair here. Actually, this is our uh, car of the week, which we do here at MC Customs. We have a car of the week, so we've reduced the price on this one to move it. Um, but we know this one has had a lot of attention, and uh, why wouldn't you? It's, it's definitely probably the most iconic car I think of the 50s in my opinion. Isn't it nice to see the 57 Chev though sitting here and I, I guess we can just imagine what it would have been like back in 1957 when these were new out on car lots. I would love to have seen what it was like back in the day when um, the Chevy lots were just full of these things. Uh, sight for sore eyes I'm sure. I know one thing, it would have been at least four inches higher. It would have had little narrow cheese cutter tyres on it. Uh, in all its exuberance, yet that element, I guess, of uh, innocence uh, when it's set up like that. Uh, and on that note, who would ever have thought back in 1957 that this particular chef would take off to become such an icon for General Motors? Oh, absolutely. I think the design was right on this one. They got it right. Um, we know back in them days it was all about rocket men. It was all about sending men to the moon. Uh, hence the, the beautiful big wing shapes they started to bring out in the, in the car industry. Yeah, yeah. And I think when you break it down, the chrome, the, the lay of these things, yeah. the, the, the beautiful front end of these things, yeah. Iconic is the word. That's what I love about the, uh, I guess, the mentality of the of the manufacturers in the United States of America in that time. They were not going to be beaten, and they weren't. Oh, absolutely. I think everything was running against them at one stage, um, but I think they had the foresight to continue down the design path. They knew what the customer wanted. It wasn't what we're going to give you. It's what do you want us to have? Uh, what do you want to have? And I think that's how they played that game. They played it very well. If you have a classic, make sure that it's insured with Shannon's. Give them a call for a quote on 134646. And if you have anything to do with a classic bike, a classic car, or a classic truck club, list it with the Shannon's Club for all the world to see. For more information, visit shannons.com.au. Okay, Mick. The big bad 54 Buick, what's going on here? Uh, well, Fletch, we had this 54 Buick sent in for us. It was a, a project car, as you can see. Um, this is the 455. It's the van that's uh, very, very rare here in Australia. I think they only built, built maybe 1,500 plus over in, in the States. So to have one here uh, as a project, we're really looking forward to it. We, we rest a mod, we build. Um, that's a big key part of our business, a very core part of our business. And this baby um, is ready for restoration, so uh, watch this space. It's going to be something really sick going forward. Have you got it already pictured in mind how this is going to look when it's finished? Well, the bit about that, Fletch, is I don't have to do that because uh, our, our uh, designer here, Abel, yeah. he concepts draws. He does a lot of computer stuff as well. Um, so what he can do, he's very, very good. He's an artistic guy, very, very good at drawing. So he's, kind of, he's kind of like the uh, the chip foos of the organisation. Well, I'd say yes, definitely he is. He has, he has a very artistic mind. He sees things that the rest of us don't see. Um, and he has got a great way of communicating with people. He listens. And so he can typically take that and, tran and transfer their thoughts into something st structural, tangible. Yep. Uh, at this point, do you have any idea which way that this wagon is going to head? 
Well, that's the beauty thing. This one here is a little bit up in the air because the problem with this one is I really want this one myself. <laughs> so uh, I'll be honest with you, mate. Uh, I really don't want to let this one go. Um, but if I have to, I will. I'd like to build this for something uh, a little bit more unique, uh, maybe for a big car show or something like that. So that's our sights. Look, the whole thing rigged supremacy. It was only one notch under Cadillac in the GM chain. We've got the big whale mouth grill. And check those big slides up on the dash. It's like something out of the Thunderbirds mech. Oh, I love it, mate. I think that just, it just gives us everything to work with. I think it's beautiful. How cool is this wagon? It looks like a bunch of Mexicans have had it. They don't know what to do with the carpet on the floor pen, so they threw some fake grass in there. Look at the door trims. It looks like something out of someone's lounge room. Si, senor. We don't know what to do with the door trim, so we use the curtain. They take the curtain off the window and cut it out, put on the door trims, man. Hey, that's the way we go with this one. Unbelievable. It looks like something out of an Alvin Purple movie inside there. One really cool thing about Buick, I love the side ports on the guard or on the front fenders. Whenever you see those ports, you know it's a Buick. It's very, very cool. We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. It's Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. How would you like to double your garage space and work on your cars easily? Well, bring in your own hero with a Lift King hoist. Easy to install models in one, two and four post styles. Check the very nifty Spider 2500 portable mini scissor lift. Hero hoists are either Oz certified or carry the Euro CE, your guarantee of quality construction and reliability. I regularly stand under my Lift King, so when you need a bit of a lift, why don't you go stand under yours? Martin's Panel Masters has three modern accident repair centres. They service Melbourne's inner, outer east and the fast growing south east corridor. Your vehicle will receive the best from state of the art repair equipment finished beautifully from computer based paint mixing systems. Finished in Australian compliant spray booths. Martin's Panel Masters, located at Fern Tree Gully and Berwick, also Box Hill Panels. If you have a restoration project, Hair and Forbes has the tools that you need. Shrinker stretchers, dollies, mallets, bead rollers, profile gauges, professional panel restoration kits and so much more. Now I warn you, enter at your own risk because you will end up buying something. So come along to your Cap City store or browse and buy online at machineryhouse.com.au because Hair and Forbes has the range. Hi, my name's Brad Lowe, I'm General Manager here at Midlife Crisis Customs and Profix Performance and we're uh, sitting here in front of this beautiful HDT Brock tribute car behind me. Uh, it's been on loan from uh, Peter Champion, uh, he owned the Peter Brock Museum up at Yapoon and it uh, itself got um, moved down to Dreamworld and when he sold the collection this is one of the cars that he had left over. And, He's brought it down for us. Uh, we're here to promote HDT. Um, we're a dealer for HDT. They still build the retro Commodores, um, and that's what we're here to do. The car behind me, uh, back in the early 80s, 8081, the Bathurst winning Commodore, it uh, was actually crushed. So when they've gone to look for the car for the collection, uh, they've found that, that it didn't exist anymore. So Peter Brock himself uh, put this car together for uh, Peter Champion's collection, and and uh, that's part of one of the reasons why he's kept it for himself. So, a uh, beautiful example of, of the car that was driven back in the day and, and there is still some original parts on that car. So, um, yeah, quite special to have something like that. And Peter Brock has driven it in a, in a few different events himself. So, it's a pretty cool bit of history to have in the shop here down at Midlife Crisis Customs. So, just some technical specs about the car. It's run a 308. They were about 400 horsepower back in the day there with a the four speed uh, gearbox. So, uh, running disc brakes, and uh, you can see the beautiful uh, air vents that they've bolted onto the wheels there to keep them cool. So, uh, even though it was still probably ahead of its time back in the day, they are quite um, close to the original road cars. Um, so, it was pretty cool to see the, the style of car that they raced around the, the track there back in the day. So. 
Uh, here at Midlife Crisis Customs, we've done deals with plenty of different suppliers over in the States and here in Australia, but uh, one particular supplier in, in, uh, that comes to mind is Resto Mod Air. We're quite ex excited to have Resto Mod Air on board. Um, Australia is a hot country and it, and it can get quite hot and even cold around these parts actually. So uh, they design aircon systems that can be retrofitted to any, any vehicle um, pretty much on the market today. So, uh, and we can retrofit them ourselves back in the service shop behind us there. So in saying, if you've got a beloved HQ or, or Mustang or Camaro sitting in the shed there and it's been a while since you've had the thing out or, or spent a few dollars on it, please come down here to Midlife Crisis Customs. We've got a range of uh, parts and, and goodies in stock and we're more than happy to bolt them onto your vehicle. Well, here we go, Mick. Time for Mar Mopar on today's show. <laughs> yes, mate. Now, a 1969 sports satellite. Now, at first glance, it's it's a roadrunner all day long, isn't it? Oh, look, they are commonly mistaken for the roadrunner. The roadrunner's probably got a bit more of a cult following than the satellite sport. Yeah. That said, though, the satellite sport was typically the next level up. It's interesting to hear trim levels, even in the muscle cars, they were still there. You think, oh, OK, Plymouth Roadrunner, that was it. But no, there, there were some variances. I'd say this car here is rare. I can't say I've seen a lot of these here, uh, Mick, in Australia. Interesting, though, same doors, same panels, same interiors, uh, just a different option code. Oh, absolutely. At the end of the day, if you've painted on the um, that iconic badge on it, I think people would be mistaking. It's just something so tough about the, the length of the rear quarters on these cars. Uh, the, the squarish taillights, it's 1969 all day long, of course hosting the 440. Now, there's a few tweaks with this one, out to a 507, that wouldn't half pin you to your seat. Oh, absolutely. This thing's got plenty of torque, uh, plenty of muscle. Uh, I think it sits around about sort of five to 600 horse. So ultimately, it, when you let it know, if you wanted to put the foot down, it lets you know you're alive. Isn't it nice though, when you do your calculations and you work out five, 600 horsepower and do your conversion to your kilowatts, and then verse that with today's term of car. Now we've got a car here that's running a four barrel carb, no computers, no cold air intake, just big cubes and a nice cam and you've got that power. It's, it's un unbelievable isn't it? Oh I agree, um, lumpy cams is what it's about. This thing here, uh, it, when you're sitting in the lights of this thing it lets you know that you're alive. It'll sit there and just bounce and bounce and bounce. It wants to go. And the money that you'd pay for this is certainly uh, an investment. The, the beautiful thing about all of these classic cars is that you can spend the same money on a new car all day long and the average person might keep that new car three years, four years. OK, all right, we, we need reliable uh, daily driving cars. The, the beautiful thing about all these things is that they appreciate. They all go up. Oh, absolutely, Fletch. So here, anything on this lot will appreciate. We're probably the only car yard, or one of the only car yards in Australia that has stock that never depreciates. Unlike most cars, you know you drive it off the lot, it's worth 10,000 less dollars than what it was, what you paid for. These things are an investment, and um, a lot of people are putting their money in banks and different things, but bonds, whatever, but some people are putting their money in cars. They get to enjoy them, they get to appreciate them, and then when they want to sell them, Typically, they make more money than what they actually spend on the thing. Well, Mick, I know they have a better return than 2.5% if you tie your money up in a term to investment in a bank. And having one of these in the shed as well, it's a workable investment that you can enjoy. Uh, you don't get too much fun sitting around looking at a, at a bank statement, but you look at one of these cars and go and drive it and enjoy it for the term that you've got it, and nine times out of ten, there's usually some sort of a, a reasonable return for you at the end one day. Well, at the end of the day also, Flesh, we're here for that exact moment when someone wants to pass on their classic car, their muscle car, their collectible. Uh, we want to buy the cars. Uh, we're here uh, you know, uniting the buyers with the sellers. So it's important to us that people who want to sell the car, they come and see us as well, yes. as much as those who want one. Yes. I think too that equity in real estate, uh, amazing amount of people that might think, oh, I can't afford a classic car. Uh, they may be sitting with six or $700,000 of equity in their home. You only live once. If, it, if, you, if you want to go and grab that car and make that a reality, I can just see so much sense in that. It's smiles by the gallon, mate. <laughs> All right, Mick. Now, in ending, I want to thank you so much for uh, inviting me here today and uh, to uh, show us your all-new premises. I'm sure you've got a, a strong future. Uh, you're 
placed here on the New England Highway, Rutherford, New South Wales. It's a good part of the state to be in. Uh, you're fairly central, and I wish you all the very best, mate. You, your staff are great. You've got a good attitude. It's positive all day long. They've made a sale today while we've been here doing the show, which is great. Um, so keep up the good work, mate. Thank you, Fletch. Really appreciate your work too, mate, and your influence in the classic car industry. Greatly appreciate it. It's my pleasure. I didn't think it would end up this big for Fletch and Classic Restos, but it did, and uh, I embr embrace that. And as hard a work that it is, it's great to keep on continuing because different jobs like this here pop up when you least expect it, and, and that keeps you going as well. Oh, mate, we just thank you for your time and effort, mate. Um, the classic car industry owes a lot and is dedicated to what you are doing, and I'm a fan myself, so thank you very much. No, that's right. Nice words. Thank you very much, Mick. Thank you, mate. Greatly keep appreciate it. Keep in touch. Yeah, sure do. Midlife Crisis Customs, and you've seen it first on Classic Restos, the place in New South Wales to buy a classic car or to have one customised. And they're in a unique location on the New England Highway at Rutherford in New South Wales. They're a great bunch of people, and when you visit, they're going to make you feel more than welcome. As I say at the end of every episode of Classic Restos, until next week, no matter where you're watching the show from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Classic Restos TV and watch catch-up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannons, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Hair and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm, Hero Hoists and Martin's Panel Masters.